Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am going to talk about um, The Darkest Night by G Gina. I think that's how you say it. Gina Schulter. Schulter. Um, this is book one of the Lords of the Underworld series, which is one of my favorite series ever. So this was um, first published back in May 3rd, 2008. Um, and I didn't discover Gina maybe a few years ago. So I was really delayed in regards to her books. Um, so the genres, this particular one, um, is categorized in our paranormal romance, paranormal romance, fantasy, demons. Okay, so... There is, there was already a book that was published this year, which was book number 14. Um, and there's a 14.5 that's also, that's also supposed to be released this year. And then a f number 15 book, which would expect that to be published next year. Yes, she loves to read, she loves to write and I love to read her stuff. But anyway, so let me read the synopsis of the book. His power is inhuman. His passion, beyond immortal. All her life, Ashton Darrow has been tormented by voices from the past. To end the nightmare, she has come to Budapest, seeking help from men rumored to have supernatural abilities. Not knowing she'll be swept into the arms of Maddox, their most dangerous member, a man trapped in a hell of his own. Neither can resist the instant hunger that calms their torments and ignites an irresistible passion, but every heated touch and burning kiss will edge them closer to destruction. In a soul-shattering test of love, though they carry an eternal curse, the lords of the underworld are irresistibly seductive and inimaginably powerful. Yes, um, so, um, I don't, the way I pick what I'm going to read next after I finish a book, if I want to continue, if I want a series and I want to continue, I go ahead and continue. Sometimes when it's a series like this long, I have read other series too, that at a certain point you max out and you're like, oh, I want a break and I want a different book. But um, with this one, how I started it, I scroll down on my iPad mini and I just um, pick up, like just stop the screen and then there you go. My, I'm gonna pick from, from whatever's showing and I pick this one. So, um, Ashlyn is this, um, other people might call her troubled person. Um, she really was kind of one of those, I'm on my last resort and I have to do this because I feel like, you know, I don't have, and I don't, there's nothing for me, you know, there's nothing else. So she goes on this adventure and she's not really, there's nothing, there's nothing, you know, waiting for her back her previous home so she's really putting all of her eggs in this one basket and she meets one of the lords of the underworld and it's Maddox and it's her romance story so dot 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 um I don't want to do a lot of spoilers and I feel like if I talk a lot about it more and there will be more details but just so you know there is a lot of lords um there is also female, not just male. And the way they're described, not everybody is like overly beautiful, but Maddox definitely is a beautiful lord. Um, so you will get to see a little bit of interaction and a little bit of personality of the other lords that you will come across in. Of course, in the other books, they're gonna be focused on because it's gonna be their story. However, with this, it just, um, it's, it's very exciting 
Um, there's a lot of things that I never expected. I forgot this. Maybe this is a little... Okay. There is some sexual content and it is graphic. It's graphic, but not like... It didn't really... I don't know. It was enjoyable graphic, I guess. It wasn't really... It was done... It was done eloquently, so it wasn't scary. You know how sometimes when you have a little bit of sexual content in a book and sometimes it can be really, to me, it can be like, oh my God, it can be a little bit scary, but that's just me. Um, this one, it just, um, this was definitely, this series made me fall in love. I mean, this book made me fall in love with Gina Showalter as well as the series, as well as um, the characters in them. Um, the stories in them, the stories within the stories, it's just beautiful and magical and very, very enjoyable. Um, from beginning to end to this particular book, I enjoyed it. There is nothing I would change. There's nothing I'm complaining about. I love it. I enjoy it. Would I recommend this? Yes. I give this a two thumbs up and from one to 10, I would give this a 9.5. Um... I don't want to do a lot of spoilers and again it wasn't really a 10 for me but a 9.5 is definitely a really good rating so uh, there you go the darkest night the book one of the lords of the underworld series by gina shoulder if you guys have any suggestions in regards to that maybe um hopefully these are books that i i don't own yet and i can buy if not, I'll probably read them if I already have them. Um, if you read this book and you enjoy it or you didn't enjoy it, just feel free to talk about that down below. I would like to dialogue with you guys. Um, again, suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. I would like to discover other books, other authors, or similar books in um, similar stories. Uh, romance, in a sense, is very, very important. So it has to have the romance, not just the paranormal. I mean, the paranormal is great and fantasy is great too, but... To me, the romance has to be in there. So, um, oh, if you guys just want to say hi, just do that down below as well. If you don't even have a suggestion or anything, that's fine too. So thank you guys and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching my video. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button with the bell because that helps me grow my channel. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to do that down below in the comment section. And always, always check my description box because there's always a lot of goodies in there. Links, coupons, and a whole lot more. Thank you guys and I will see you again next time. Bye.